Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you one another video of um, my collection, and this time I'm going to these marbled brown pens. These pens are made of acrylics, different types of resins, and I'm just going to show you and then just show you how they write also. So I will start with the smallest one. This one is a Filcao, as you can see, an Italian brand, a very small pen with a kind of a vintage Parker Dufault style, with a small nib, but very big nib for such a small pen, and uh, it, it is a, a cartridge pen, very simple, but with a nice material that has black, brown and some more pearlish color speckles but I find this has a very good uh, depth then we'll go on to the first generation Caveco Art Sport and this, one, this color is the Mambo this is one of my favorite ones it's not a regular marbled brown, but it has a very light color here, uh, almost yellow, brownish yellow, and then it has these stripes of a black material and some are more like pearl. The pen is a small pen, made in Germany, a small Kavec pen, and it takes cartridges or small uh, Avec converters and here you have the nib this is a gold nib a fine gold nib and I will show you the material and the color depth and variation along the pen quite beautiful my opinion then we have another Caveco and this is the Akave Quartz Sport Generation 2. This one is the amber version. It is the same pen as the first generation, but this one has a steel nib, a gold plated steel nib. And it has this pattern, which is quite nice. Then we go to a Chinese pen. This is a Kaigolu 316. It is a pen that mimics the shape of a, of a Parker Dufold. It has a kangaroo on the logo. It is a quite heavy pen. I think there is a lot of metal here on, on the end. Um, it also has the kangaroo here on the nib. It is an M nib and it, it takes cartridge or converters, international size. This pen, I was thinking if I should include this one because it has a tiger eye pattern. So it has a nice material, but it has brown and gray. Very beautiful chatoyancy, but not pure brown as the this one may be, for example. And this one is a more, uh, more recent Moonman M600S. And these pens are very similar to a Parker Centennial Fountain pen. Same clip, same two rings on the cap, one ring here on the bottom of the, of the barrel. And they have this pattern. A, very, a pattern that is also cartridge converter, sorry, just want to show you, and has this Moonman nib with this crescent shape, which is nice, but as I was saying, it has a pattern that I find quite similar to the pattern of the Caveco Amber, but a little bit darker, but nice. And finally, the most beautiful of them all. Another Chinese pen, yes, three Chinese pens here, which is this uh, Vingsung 
six to six coffee brown color and this color is the most beautiful in my opinion it has a section made of the same material it is also a cartridge converter pen and it has a steel nib two-tone steel nib there is only one gold nib which is on that Aveco on the mambo very beautiful with the heart shape and I want to show you this material. It's so hard to show you with the LED light and on camera, but it is really, really beautiful. It has lots of depth. It is, however, a little greenish, I would say, when we compare with, the, for example, with the Moonman but very beautiful one so just looking at these you can see there are lots of different brownish pens and now that we've seen this let's just see how this pen writes maybe you're interested it's just a very very short writing test and starting from the smallest again this is the Filcao Mini Brown Marbled. I don't know a better name for this model. This pen has inside the Diamine Raw Sienna and this ink is in every of these pens just for better comparison and that is an F nib I'll just put here and this one is an F gold nib from the Caveco Art Sport Mambo with also an F nib but that is much wetter than the F nib of the Filcao and then we'll go to the F steel nib from the Caveco Art Sport Amber also an F but much drier than the Mambo one this is a steel nib as I told you then we'll go to the Kaigalu this is the Kaigalu as you can see, this is a much wetter pen, 316, and this has an M nib. It's not just being an M, it is wetter. And this ink is very beautiful, it shades very well. And then we'll go to the Moonman Moonman M. 600s brown and this is an F nib and this nib is great I think Moonman is doing a real uh, great job in their pens and in their nibs and finally we have this Schiffer Balance uh, clone the Ving Sung 626 with an F nib and this pen is beautiful and also the nib allows for some line variation not a flex nib but it is a soft nib very nice and wet you can see so this is all for today I hope you found this interesting and maybe you'll be so excited with this that you'll start collecting brown fountain pens. If you have any comments, any suggestions, any colors that you would like me to see or finishes that you'd like me to, to see posting videos of, please just tell me on the comment section below. Until then, please keep coming to my channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.